Hi everyone, so in this video I am going to discuss how you can uh, create a validation set from the training set. So what we had uh, till now was an images folder which uh, contained images for all our four classes, right? So remember images is a folder which contains your dogs, cats, cows and humans, right? Or the four, four classes, right? And what I did is I, I see if there is a validation folder there is not so I make a directory of validation folder and I specify these are my classes right so what I'm going to do now is uh, let's say it contains 202 images 202 images 202 images 202 images so inside this validation folder I'm going to create subfolders for the four categories and I'm going to keep 90% images here and I'm going to move 10% images from each class into my validation folder, right? So each of the folder is going to contain 10% of images. So for that, I first create subfolders inside the validation folder for C in classes. I create a path validation images plus C. So which, which is just like this validation images followed by dogs, followed by cats, followed by horses and so on, right? So something of this form I create and if, if this directory does not exist, I create it right using os dot make directory. So I define a split which is of 0.9. So I iterate over my input folder and here I'm going to move files from source to destination, right? So I figure out the base path. So base path is from the images folder. This is the image of the cat I'm going to move to the validation folder, right? So this is what I'm going to do. But as of now, I have not done anything, right? So this is, I'm just printing the path, right? So if you see, uh, this is this is in my actual folder. There are 202 images, but once I uh, do the movement, right? So how do I move? So using os.listdir, I see what all images are in the cat's folder, right? Then I see, uh, how many images I should keep so split is 90% so 90% means I'm going to keep 90% images so which are the files I'm going to move so I slice my images list from 90% to 100% for which gives me 10 images right so and then I print the length right so you can see there are 21 images if you take 10% of 210 so it is 21 right so for every file that is there in the list if you just see what are the files which you want to move right if i if i just print it okay so you can see these are the images which have been selected for the validation data set right so these are the files which i will move to my validation uh, data set and i will execute this code now right so this i commented out this i commented out source and destination paths you can figure out so that i have done and using the uh, shutils.move method i'm going to move my files from source to destination right so let us see what is there now now you can see in your training folder you have 181 images and similarly if you print for validation folder validation data and let's print training data right and here you will give val images right and you can see right so here here you go clearly you can see you have uh, you are now able to create two folders one for training and one for validation and these are the images in each of them right so this is how you process your data set and remember all of this uh, processing we have done on google collab right okay so in the next part i will uh, show you how you can uh, use data augmentation and you can uh, do validation you can make validation generator using the same concept right as we did for the train generator so see you guys in the next video